Hi, in this video I'm going to teach you how to perform the upper limb tension test and bias it towards the radial nerve. The radial nerve originates from the brachial plexus from the levels of C5 to T1. And the radial nerve supplies the tricep and the extensors. And if any symptoms in the forearm, into the hand area, especially around here, then it might be an involvement of a radial nerve. Now when we do this one, what we're going to do is I'm going to have the arm and place my hand onto the shoulder and apply some depression. The arm is going to be fully internally rotated and what we're going to do is, if you just look at my hand here, okay, so what I need to do is, because the nerve obviously is an extensor nerve, we have to flex the wrist and then the thumb, we have to bring it in and apply ulnar deviation. So we place the hand over like this, okay, so I'm going to apply some wrist flexion. Be careful with the thumb here, okay? So we can slowly apply the thumb. You can see that it's a little tentative with the patient from there. Maintaining that position, so I'm going to fully internally rotate, flex, and then with the thumb applied into the palm, and then apply some ulnar deviation, okay, from there. And then from there, I'm going to then slowly abduct whilst maintaining shoulder girdle depression. Okay, towards 90 degrees, and if that brings on symptoms, we would stop. The last thing we can do, if you feel it's relevant, is to ask the patient to slowly side bend to the left. And if that increases the symptoms, then you know it's a positive sign for radial nerve. I'm bringing neck back, please. And then we can ease the patient off that. So that'll be the upper limb tension test, biased towards the radial nerve. 